Hi guys, if you're looking to create top quality renders like these easily and quickly, this is the tool for you. The AI tool that I have found for you guys today is called archivinci.com. The beauty of this particular AI tool is it being super easy and it gives unlimited renders in a very affordable price. With plans starting from just $10, it is ideal for students working on a single project. It also offers a free version with limited renders. The website has six tools, so let's check them out. First up, we will try Exterior Design AI. Just click on it, go to Exterior Design AI. This is the interface that we get. It's pretty basic and self-explanatory. Just upload the image over here. I have made this SketchUp model that I want to render with Archivinci. So I'll just take a few screenshots of it. File, Export, 2D Graphic, save it. Now go to Archivinci and upload the image that I just saved. The image is loading. Next we have an option of Interior, Exterior and Master Plan. This is an exterior image. So it's selected, that's okay. Input type. This is a 3D model screenshot, click on that. Over here we have three options. In similar one, our render will be closest to the screenshot and in creative there will be some difference in geometry. Let's keep it in balanced for now. Give a prompt. It's optional but I suggest give a prompt because that gives you more control over your end product. I have given the prompt. You can also give a negative prompt that if you want to exclude something from it. Over here, give it a building type. This is a residential project, so residential house. Now we have an option of render style. This is pretty interesting as we have different render styles pre-installed in it. I will go with postmodern marvel. Now we have an option of render performance. For faster renders and less precision, you can move the slider over here. Or if you want a best quality render, you can move it over here. For now, we'll just keep it in the center. Last option is of seed. This I will explain to you later. For now, let's hit generate and see what we get. Archivinci is processing the image and our render is ready. The result looks pretty nice. Now I want similar renders of different angles of this model. So I'll go to my SketchUp model, create a different scene and take another screenshot of it. Export 2D graphic, save it. Now I'll go back to Archivinci and upload the new screenshot that I have taken. Upload it like this. I won't change any of the settings. And just over here, I'll go over here and enter the seed number that I have copied and I'll hit generate and the render is ready. You see, I have another angle of the same model with very similar render style. So in this way, I can take multiple renders of my model without compromising on the style and materials. Just right click to save the image. Now let's try some other options of Archivinci. Just go to the home page, scroll down. And the next option is interior design AI. Just click on it, go to interior design. It's a pretty similar interface. In fact, it's 100% the same. So let's just quickly try an interior image. I have this 3D of a bedroom that I had created on SketchUp and Lumion. I have just uploaded it. The input type will be photo this time. Create a balanced one. Give it a prompt. You can give a negative prompt if you want. Room type would be bedroom, render style. I'll go with modern sophistication this time. You can change the render quality and add the seed number later. Right now, let's click generate. Image is being processed. And this is our final render. Looks pretty nice. All the details and the materials are pretty impressive. Let's just save the image. Right click, save as, save. The next feature of Archivinci is master plan AI. Just click on it. Go to master plan coloring. Now I have a project that I'm doing and this is the master plan that I have created in AutoCAD. I need to export this from AutoCAD in JPEG format. I have already done that. So I'll just show it to you. This is the master plan. We have a pathway and this is our main building and rest of it is all green landscaping area. So I'll upload this JPEG in Archivinci. Click upload, master plan, open. Again, give it a prompt. It's very important to give a proper prompt as the entire rendering depends on it. You can give a negative prompt, render performance can be changed. Now click on generate. And our render is ready. Looks pretty impressive. Let's just see it. AI has kept the basic geometry and added roads and cars just as I asked in the prompt. Looks pretty impressive. I'll just save it. So these were three basic features of Archivinci. 
we have three other features that I want you guys to explore on your own. These are Furnish Empty Room AI, Modify Room AI, Modify Archie AI. These are again very simple and easy to use. So I want you guys to try it out and leave comments below that how do they feel and are they helping you in your project. I hope you liked today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more informative content. Take care. Goodbye.